During dredging, metal teeth on the dredge called the cutter head rotated to loosen the lake material and break it into smaller pieces that were hydraulically suctioned into the dredge. The material was then pumped about four miles through a secure double-walled pipeline for safe, long-term isolation in a lined consolidation area. There, the watery mix was screened to remove stones and debris. The contaminated material was pumped into high-strength containers called geotextile tubes, which were placed on drainage stones, a high-strength plastic liner, and a protective clay layer. Lake water draining from the tubes was treated on-site to meet regulatory standards. After it met DEC standards, it was returned to the lake. An isolation cap was placed over shallow water portions of the lake bottom to seal in any remaining contamination. The isolation cap provides a new, clean lake bottom and a new habitat layer to promote underwater vegetation growth and fish spawning.